It's time to talk about Dad. Oh, daddy issues, daddy issues. No, I have a, a great relationship with my dad. You know, he's a very calculated guy. Okay, there's no need to get weird or make dumb jokes. Just tell me about daddy. Well, I guess he was a strict dad, uh, but in a good way. Like he would teach us good manners and, and great work ethic. And, and, and he would make us sit on our hands when we were being annoying, which was quite often. So it looked like this. Right, okay. Also, we were not allowed to say fart. No, we had to say excess flatus. Excess what? Excess flatus. Oh God. I really hope you never said that in school. Just the one time. And then never again after that. So how are things now? Have things turned out as you'd hoped or expected? I think so. I mean, he's a big business guy, and I was heading down that path, not because he pushed me down it, I just, I think I did it because I thought that's what he wanted me to do. So you tended to steer yourself in the direction you thought he wanted you to go? Oh yeah. Oh god, yeah. I was like that with all authoritative figures, but especially my dad, that's for sure. What kind of sneakers should I pick out, Dad? Like, which ones do you want me to pick out? That kind of thing. I, 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 I just, I had this a uh, little bit of a need to please, you know, which is normal. I, you know, please, please like me and uh, give me some compliments. That wouldn't hurt, you know, but <laughs> please be proud. And is that all you want? For daddy to be proud? Of course he's proud <laughs> of my sister. She's in pharmaceutical marketing in New York. And, and my brother has his own company, and, and my other sister's going to grad school, so it is all good. It is all good. And you? You're a male model, right? I am an actor and a writer, um, is what I am first and foremost, so the male modeling is just uh, something I do. That's cool. What have I seen you in? Like. A handful of commercials, if, if you can catch them. Um, some short film stuff, film stuff that's coming out. You know, I have, I have stuff coming out. That sounds awfully big. But you're a writer? You've been published? I, I mean, yeah, I had the one article online. And, and I'm writing stuff now that's, that's being shopped. So I, I am writing. I, I, I didn't know I had to be Stephen King to call myself a writer. Stephen King, that's your, that's your go-to writer. Well, I think it's neat. You know, it's your own path, so you, you must honor that. Is Daddy supportive? Uh, enough. He hasn't made me stop yet, <laughs> so that's good. Um, we're just in different industries, that's all. It's just tough to relate. Is there a way you can help him understand your industry better? I could, yeah, I could probably be on TV and in the movies like a star. If I was on the TV shows, you know, that would help a lot. If, if, if I were to get some writing published, that would certainly do it. Well, there you go. Some books. He likes to read books. So that would help. Yes. I think that's a major breakthrough for us. That's absolutely what you should be doing. I, I'm, I'm making the effort day in and day out. Well, you don't have to try, Joe. Just do it. It's harder than you think. I, I can't just put myself on the screen, you know? Yeah, just do that. For me, though, not for anyone else. Do it for me. Absolutely, Joe. That's it. That's all you've got to do. Yeah. Do it for me. Ha. Fart. Fart, 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 dad. Fart, dad. I farted, dad. <laughs> I'm gonna do it for me. Simple. Great work. Great work here today.